Most of the fairy stories we know and love today, they don't come from where we thought they did. Well, they do. We chose to forget. We chose to forget where they came from. I made We Are Alice because when I woke up to the reality that I was raised by a narcissist and that I had been living in a world that was a weird, wild, spinning reflection of itself. Aspects of reality just enough to make you question your own mind instead of the world you were in. I really felt like I came through a looking glass. Everything was backwards. Nothing was right. Everything looked so normal. And so suddenly everything made sense and nothing made sense. I don't know that I am A fan, a fan of the stories on that level. I've certainly read the books. And um, I have my opinions on the people involved, but I never really connected with the story on that level, except that I just was a strange little girl. What I'm realizing is there's a lot of other fairy stories in us too. Um, so where did, uh, is that a, like, do I have a something on my face? Is that, is that granola? Is that chocolate chip? I don't know. Ah. Whatever it is. It's either there or it's gone. Um, actually, it'd be funny if it was chocolate. I have these vegan chocolate chips that I put in my trail mix, and I decided to have a trail mix for breakfast because it was just that kind of a morning, waiting for my medication to be delivered. But, um, yeah, but as I was sitting there, I was thinking, I was watching a Dr. Romani video, it's a great one. It's one of her longer ones where she puts together a few different things. And this was the three cruelest tricks that a narcissist uses. I believe it was what it was. It was um, future faking, breadcrumbing, and oh, withholding intimacy. It was the breadcrumbing where she got me. Most people don't know that the story of Hansel and Gretel was really a story of a time of starvation in the Germanic area. There was such a great famine at one point. It was likely in the time that the sun went dark for I think it was five years due to a volcanic explosion. Ash covered our world and trees did not grow for five years. Imagine five years without crops. What people would look like, what people would act like, what the world would look like. It would be a truly dark forest. There would be crazy women in the woods who eat children. Because in those days you had kids because you didn't know which ones would make it and which ones wouldn't. So you just kept having kids. But if they kept making it, Some parents got to the point where they had to decide who survived. That's why a lot of the grim fairy tales are so grim. 
I think they stem from the stories of all the times that mankind was driven to such a state of starvation that the decision was abandoned, abandon your children in the deep dark woods or eat them. But the breadcrumbs didn't save Hansel or Gretel. The breadcrumbs were supposed to get them back home. I believe in this story, they did make it home a couple of times until it was made sure they wouldn't. I thought about the other aspect of breadcrumbs she was talking about it, you know, breadcrumbing. It's surviving on scraps. It's falling behind in the line, hoping that little morsels break off from the, the corners of the mouth of the person in front of you, and you can get those little scraps and survive on them. And then I thought about what happens to starving people when they get to eat again. It, it's not hard to find stories of people who made the mistake of making giant feasts for Holocaust survivors to find that their bodies could not accept that food yet. That's what love is, not even love. That's what attention, affection, care, concern, a fuck is to a narcissist. To give a fuck is to give a crumb. They feed us on the shit that they don't see fall to the ground. And when you're raised, eating nothing but crumbs, surviving on nothing but crumbs, what happens when somebody brings you a big meal Yeah, it's scary. And if we are not prepared, when something like that comes along, we make ourselves sick. The reason it's so hard for us to find good love and to trust in that love and not sabotage it when it finally comes to us, when we finally break free of all of this mess, we may actually find a good one. They may show us love, compassion, care, empathy, everything. We've never had that before. And if you go in with both feet, well, you're gonna feel sick for a little while. Maybe a long while. But if you trust in it, You're gonna, well, you'll be eating. <laughs> you'll be fed. I have a lot of love and respect for the people who take on a challenge as difficult as a relationship with somebody who has been through child abuse and trauma, neglect, 
narcissistic abuse and neglect, especially, especially those of us later in life. I met my partner when I was 34 years old. First time I met him in person. That's a different story. We didn't know each other when we met each other, but we knew each other. We just didn't know it yet. <laughs> so, yeah. We are Red Riding Hood. We are Hansel and Gretel. We are Alice. Feel free to join us anytime. We have Discord. Oh, and now we have a place for TamFam. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let me know. Link's in the description below. Let's make better fairy tales. Let's all become princesses. <laughs>